Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I've got a new setup today. I thought now that we've finished our picture gallery in our bedroom that I would sit and film here because I just thought it was a nice background. So I hope you don't mind the move. But today's video is going to be my January favourites. I know these videos aren't really done anymore because I guess a long time ago they were just for influencers to vlog. Vlog? Vlog. Vlog. F-L-O-G. Vlog things that they were being paid for and didn't have to disclose. And I guess that's why a lot of favourites have now stopped. But as somebody who doesn't really do any brand deals, not for a while anyway, I just thought I'd do a genuine favourites. So I've got a little bag of goodies of things that I really liked through January. And I just thought I'd talk you through them. Just like old times. Starting off with skincare, my first favourite is the Wellness Sanctuary Spa Sleep Mist and this I got for Christmas from my mother-in-law, she got me two of these actually, one on its own and one in a set and I love it. Basically it's just a little spritz that you put on your face at night, I just spray all over after I've done all of my face care my face care and my skin care and it smells like lavender you can also spray it on your pillow so I guess it's a cheaper version of this works but I've really found that it helps me feel relaxed whether it helps me sleep better unsure because I didn't really test before and without but it definitely makes me feel more relaxed and ready for bed when I spray it and it's become part of my just general nighttime routine so I really really recommend if you're looking something maybe a little bit cheaper than the this works pillow spray and just help you relax into bed the next thing is another skincare item this is the revolution rose hip regenerating essence spray and it's got citrus oil in it this is amazing so I use this as a toner Again, it's a spray form. I cleanse first and then I spray this all over my face and I let it sink in. I do this before I put on my makeup and I do it at night as well before I go to bed. I really, really like this because one, it's affordable and two, it smells so good. It's It's got this sort of lemony citrus smell but also smells floral. I can't explain it, but it's got its own scent. It smells like a drink, but I can't think of what it is. But I really, really like this. I found that it helps refresh my face and my face just feels nice and clean and ready for the next step of my skincare routine and it's really affordable so again if you're looking for something more affordable you can get this obviously in Superdrug um, with the current pandemic it's also on ASOS so you can always order it online instead of having to go to a shop. My final skincare favourite for this month is the Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA liquid exfoliant salicylic acid. I've got the little one because I bought it off. I bought it after seeing a YouTube advert and I wanted to trial it before I bought a big one and I absolutely love this. I love a liquid exfoliator. I am 100% changed over to liquid exfoliators instead of sort of like the grainy ones because of the micro tears. I use this twice a week. I just pop it on after I cleanse, I pop it on and I leave it a while before I tone. I've found that this has made my skin a lot clearer. It's made my skin sort of just sort itself out a little bit. I found before I had like red patches, I had little bumps, like rough bumps, and I had blackheads. This has kind of kicked all of those things to the curb. And I found that my skin is just a lot better. I've still got some blemishes, but this has definitely like tackled all the other issues. So the blemishes are just something that I need to like zero in on and really, really tackle on their own, I think. Going off skincare onto makeup, I want to talk about foundation. This is the Maybelline's Fit Me Matte Poreless Normal to Oily Skin Foundation, and mine's in 97, which is, I think it's like natural, por yeah, it's natural porcelain. Um, I have really been enjoying this for like a more light coverage foundation. It's quite uh, like a, a more of a watery consistency. So I put this on, it's quite seamless, it blends really, really nicely. It doesn't leave those sort of streak marks from your brush. It doesn't go patchy, it doesn't separate throughout the day. I have really oily skin around my T-zone, around my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and I've found that I look in the mirror and it's still there on my nose at the end of the day, where some foundations kind of separate and drift off my nose and I have this shiny nose. Um, I've found that this one's good. The only thing I would say is I've got it in, sort of the natural porcelain, I wish I'd got the next shade darker because it can make me look a little bit washed out and if I've tanned then I can't use it. 
but when I'm in my natural state, my natural Casper friendly ghost state, then this is definitely the foundation that I grab for first. Concealer wise, this is the MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer and I've got mine in number 104 which I don't think has a num like a name, it's just super super light and I like a light concealer for under my eyes, I'm still in that old school phase of that and I know that's kind of not a thing anymore but it's what I like to do. It's got a really nice doe foie applicator which I'll show you in the cutaways, um, but this really is full coverage, so this is absolutely brilliant for under the eyes, those dark circles, if you've got those like me, hereditary I think, thank you, and redness around the sides of my nose, and obviously pop it on your finger and cover any blemish scars as well. I just find that this concealer does not budge, it doesn't crease as much under the eyes as many other ones, and it holds powder really well as well, so if you're looking again for a cheaper sort of concealer, then definitely go and check out the MUA Pro Base. On to eye makeup now. The first one is a liquid, liquid concealer? No. It's a liquid liner. This is the, this is the Maybelline's Lasting Drama in matte and it's in jet black. So it's just like a traditional pot paintbrush style um, liquid liner. It's super, it dries super matte, which is what I like. I don't like a shiny, I don't like a shiny eyeliner, I don't know why, I just, I always find myself like packing it with black eyeshadow on top, but this one is super matte when it dries, it lasts really really well, which is what you want. There's nothing worse than putting on your eyeliner in the morning and then lunchtime mid-afternoon, one of your eyes is like rubbed off or faded. This stuff really does stay and it does layer well as well. So if you do want to give a super, super dark look or you want to get make sure it's definitely gonna last for a long time, then double layer up once it dries because it dries super quickly. The, how fast it dries is I can put it on. I can put it on my left eye. I put it on my right eye. Then when I go to curl my lashes on my left eye, straight away it's dry. So it doesn't sort of smudge where some of them do then stick to my lash colour and then I have to retop them up. This is definitely my go-to fail-safe liquid liner. Final makeup product, this is the Charlotte Tilbury's Legendary Lashes. So I've got a mini version, I got it for, I think I got it for a birthday, birthday present, or part of a birthday present, or it might have been Christmas, I can't remember. Um, absolutely love this mascara, it's got a full size wand in it which I love. I think this is the, one of the only mascaras that really opens up my lashes it's super black um this one's in black vinyl yeah black vinyl it's super super dark it's really dramatic i tend not to wear it every day i wear it when i want to make more of a statement with my eyes it lasts super long and the only thing about it is it's not waterproof which i wish there was a waterproof there might be a waterproof version i might just not know about it but this was my first charlotte tilbury product and it's definitely not going to be my last. Going on to like hand skincare, I guess this is still skincare, to talk about a hand cream. This is the Zoella's hand cream winter wonder hand and it's one of her sort of, it's one of her wintry scents. I think it's peony and mint, that's what it is. I have this by my kitchen sink so every time I wash my hands I pop a bit of this on and obviously at the moment we're washing our hands so much that your hands can get so dry and then you end up getting like dry between the fingers and it's just sore and so what I like to do is make sure I put this on two or three times a day and it does sink in super quickly hey, it helps my hands feel really nice and soft and also it smells delicious um, there's not really much else I can say about hand cream but I definitely really really like this one I don't know if she makes this anymore though because she stopped her beauty like beauty and skincare line so she might not make these anymore, but if you can get your hands on them, I definitely recommend, especially for winter. And I got two random home bits that I wanted to talk about. The first one was not particularly this wax burner, but wax burners in general. I've got a big one on the go downstairs. I've really got back into wax burners, so you pop the, the wax in the top and then you pop the tea light in the back, not on the top, in the back. And then you just get this lovely aroma that last so much longer than a candle. I've got this one which was gifted to me a l long time ago, like four, five, 
probably four years ago and I've got a big one that I got from Tesco downstairs um, which is like a really beautiful heart shape it's a much bigger dish this is quite small but this is definitely something that I've been using over sort of the winter to help make my house smell delicious and to go along with that is this I saw this on TikTok I think it was on TikTok yeah this is a chargeable like a candle lighter so you've got the big handle which is USB charged inside and then it's got a bendy top so if you need to sort of go into like into candles then you can and it kind of it has like a little has like a little electric current that goes across the middle and then you just hold that over the wick and it lights it this is so much better than using matches because you're not throwing them away and with like a traditional like lighter I found if you've got like a candle and then the wicks burn all the way down you're like this and you're burning your fingers you're dripping wax everywhere this is super easy because you just put it straight in and light the candle so I definitely recommend getting one of these if you're a candle kind of person because definitely definitely much much better than anything else and this has now replaced everything the final two things that i wanted to talk about one was a netflix series and one well no they're both netflix series actually look like two things that i've been obsessed with is getting back into orange is the new black i watched like the first three to four seasons when it first came out and then i had to wait for the next the next season to come out and I just never went back to watching it so I've restarted that from the beginning and I think I'm on like episode three and it's just so much better than I remembered it and the other thing that I've been loving is we've been watching RuPaul's Drag Race because the new season's out so that's every Saturday I think we're on like episode four or five at the moment I have no idea who's going to win but I definitely have my favourites Denali and Tamisha Iman are definitely two of my favourite drag queens um, so I hope that those two, one of those two gets to the final um, but that's kind of what we've been watching on Netflix I've also been watching uh, Gavin and Stacey again which is just like an easy go to watch and also YouTube obviously I just watch like my favourite YouTubers so Sammy Maria, um, In The Fro, I've been watching Kate Moraine as well um, and Sammy Maria has been getting a lot into spirituality so I've been really enjoying her new style of videos um, so yeah definitely check those kind of girls out I'll link them down below if they sound like something you'd, you'd be into so In The Fro does a lot of fashion Kate Moraine does a lot of home and family and organisational and Sammy Maria does fashion and spirituality so like I said I'll link them all down below but that was kind of everything I've been loving for January it's been a lot harder because obviously we've been at home so I've got no fashion favourites because I've just been wearing like I, I dress my top half and then the pyjamas on the bottom half <laughs> this kind of style reminds me of the old school youtube that i used to do so i would definitely it's much comfier sitting on the bed as well because i can sit cross-legged and it doesn't hurt but i will be doing another video next weekend i'm sorry about the gap basically what's happened is i used to be working through the pandemic and then i stopped working in the pandemic and was furloughed and then I was redeployed to a different job where I was working Monday to Friday, like eight till four. So that's a lot harder to film. So I might move my my videos to like a Monday evening instead so I can have a Saturday, Saturday, Sunday filming. Or maybe just need to pull my finger out and film on a Saturday. But I hope you enjoyed that. The podcast, as always, is linked down below. So there is a new episode if you haven't listened to it. It's all about the lockdown and what it's like to be furloughed if you sort of from my point of view and then my co-host Slade is working full-time so it's from his point of view as well so please go and have a listen to that if you haven't already there's three episodes for you to listen to and please like this video leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have then push the bell button for notifications as I upload every week most times <laughs> and I will see you next week bye